when it comes to eliminating violence against women and children, the police are critical. And I want to particularly acknowledge Assistant Commissioner Kevin Scott and Assistant Commissioner Andrew Crisp uh, from Victoria Police. And I wonder if the Chief Commissioner, Ken Lay, could join me up on stage. Would you please make him welcome? What's made the biggest difference to eliminating violence in your career? What, what really matters so far and, and what more needs to be done? Well, I've been very fortunate to work under two Chief Commissioners that have an ab had an absolute commitment to making the most vulnerable people in our community, women and children, safer in their homes. So both Christine uh, worked very, very hard in this year, uh, area. Back, back in 2002, and Simon certainly followed up that focus when he became um, Chief Commissioner. So, um, our organisations come a very long way. Um, there is absolute commitment um, within our organisation to do what we can to support the broader community and support these victims. But, Julie, I don't think we can lose sight of the fact that last year we had 45 odd thousand. Um, reports of family violence that we attended. We suspect we only capture probably 30 or 40 per cent of the offending. So whilst we're starting to make inroads, there's still much, much work that police and everyone in this room needs to do. And how critical is media? Well, <laughs> the media. <laughs> Where do we begin? Um, look, our, our relationship with... Um, the with the media is, despite lots of views, is very, very strong and we can't get a message out um, without the media and it is gratifying, and Fiona made the point earlier, it's been fantastic, some of the reporting around family violence in recent times, it really does help the broader community understand the depth of the problem that uh, not only the community be, but us as um, um, uh, support agencies and enforcement agencies, uh, agencies are, are facing. So without them, none of this works. Look, thank you so much for coming. Would you please make him welcome? <laughs> and just one more person before I uh, introduce our, our next speaker. Again, because I am becoming an incredibly old person, there's a lot of dye on this head. Uh, I... I do want to acknowledge it when we have uh, senior representation uh, supporting the raising of community awareness and action on this issue. So could I please uh, ask you to welcome Lieutenant Colonel John Carey from Defence. <laughs> what are you aiming to do in Defence? Because obviously you've had some tough media, this big stuff happening. So, you know, you're, you're here tonight to support this. Why are you here? Definitely. Um, Julie... First, you know, it was only about one month ago that I was uh, standing in the desert in uh, Kandahar province in Afghanistan and I would see daily firsthand uh, the efforts taken by the military, the police, um, I, I would see DFAT uh, and of course the media uh, to improve um, and, and prevent uh, violence against women in that country. Um, back home though, uh, we have had some tough times in, in the last couple of months. But uh, the Chief of Defence Force is uh, extremely committed to uh, fixing and resolving those issues that go back a long way and, and stamping out sexual harassment and abuse. We, we just want to say welcome to you tonight and thank you for coming. Thank you.